Health officials warn this could be a pandemic. What does that mean exactly here? Could be as operative is what you have to talk about. Let's take a look at how they do the ratings. Right now on a scale of one to six, they say that this outbreak is at a three where there is no evidence of, or there is no or very limited evidence of human to human transmission. Now on a call with the CDC that I was on this afternoon, there was a lot of talk about maybe that might get moved up to number four when you see cases popping up in Kansas, probable cases in New York. Uh, maybe there really is uh, increased evidence that this is transmitted not just to pig, from pigs to people, but is being transmitted in significant numbers from person to person. Okay, so then how sick are these people? Is it mild? Is it, what is it? It's very mild, serious. Mild, and that's what's so interesting is that in the U.S. the cases have all been mild. There have been no deaths. The cases that we've been told about, only one person had to go to the hospital. They didn't even need antivirals. So it's been mild here. Not quite clear why it seems to be worse in Mexico, why people seem to be dying in Mexico of this and not in the United States. Okay, then tell us a bit about this new virus. What, what makes it unique? Because, you know, we heard about, we've been hearing about bird flu, we've heard about uh, there were SARS and, uh, you know, monkeypox and all these things that pop up and then they go away. So right. tell us about this one, what makes it What's, unique. This is a unique combination of actually four different viruses. Wow. You can find DNA from four different viruses. So let's go over what those four are. North American swine influenza, avian bird influenza, human influenza, and a form of swine influenza that's normally found in Asia and Europe. So you put that all together, you get this new swine flu virus. We haven't seen it in this country before, so that none of us has developed an immunity to it in its entirety. But again, at least in this country, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be, um, it's not killing anyone, thank goodness. But you or I have never, our bodies have never been exposed to it before. All right, so, so the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, they have an alert system. Where are we now with that system? Level three out of six. That's where oh, we are, level okay, three out of right six. Okay, tell us about the precautions they're taking in Texas now. Yes, very interesting. In Texas, in Guadalupe County, they, are, they have closed a high school where two kids have been diagnosed as having this new swine flu and one other child is a or one other student I should say is a probable case they're closing the school down for a week at least in addition they're telling everyone in the county please postpone big public gatherings we do not want people to getting together in big groups because that's how this virus could spread and they're being very clear about it if you are at all sick Please stay home. Do not go out. They really want to catch this and nip it in the bud before this gets bigger than it already yeah, is. Yeah, I'm just watching all the information coming over. New wires coming over here uh, as well. This one is from Kansas where we talked about uh, the schools there. Uh, New York as well. We don't want to alarm people, but Correct. what, you know, when we saw SARS, people got sick and died. And then we saw, as I said, monkeypox and bird flu. And then these things just kind of went away. How concerned should we, we be here? I mean, it is possible that that could happen here as well. Again, the cases that we've seen, 10 cases, these people are mildly ill. They didn't even know that they had anything as strange as swine flu. They mm -hmm. didn't even, for the most part, end up in the hospital. I think that's really important to keep in mind.